What's up guys, it's Brandon J, and today I made the most irresponsible purchase of my entire life. That is right, I bought a submarine. <laughs> You might also be asking why it's not in the water, and that's because it turns out I, I have a lot I have to learn. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get the video started. Ladies and gentlemen, one of one. This is the only operational personal submarine that you can buy in my, in my price range. This one actually brand new retails around $200 thousand dollars and don't get it twisted your boy did not pay that okay i did not pay that thank god but i did find the only one that is potentially operational for sale in the entire world this baby right here is a 1998 sports sub if you could not tell this is a real submarine and it's made to go over 120 foot deep i've never even been that deep it's way too deep Fun fact number one, this bad boy has traveled more than I have, and it came off of a yacht from Sweden. Geographically, I'm not even sure where Sweden is at. Fun fact number two is that these things are incredibly rare. I'm serious, if you guys go online, you'll find four different pictures of sports subs, including this one. I've only found four. There's a Nemo one, there's a white and goldish one, and there's a really cool like super advanced one, and then there's mine. Which leads me to fun fact number three is that we will now be the only submarine vlogging channel. We may have just created a new genre on YouTube. We did the treasure hunting thing, and now we're gonna do the submarine thing. Fun fact number four, you actually have to enter from the rear when it's in the water, so you'll get a little wet. Fun fact number five, if everything goes wrong with this, you technically can't sink a submarine because it's made to sink. So even if I screw up, it's just kind of doing what it's supposed to do. In all seriousness though, this thing has an incredible story behind it. It's been everywhere and it's been treated like a real submarine. It lived on a giant yacht and it has two harness points on top because a crane is actually supposed to pick it up off the yacht, put it over the water, and then drop it into the water. This thing is only three years younger than me. Or four years. Mathematics. What's funny about YouTube is you guys never really see the behind the scenes. For the last five months, I have been toying with trying to buy this thing, the idea of it. I basically had to gamble and throw my entire wallet at this submarine in hopes of like getting new adventures, sparking some new life and just like really going out and trying to like push myself to the biggest and baddest content we could do. This opens so many doors for us. So yeah, I took a huge risk, a really huge, strangely shaped risk. I mean, even the company that makes these, they went out of business. They don't even have a website anymore. But the only thing that made me feel confident and made me pull the trigger on this thing was the fact that I saw pictures of the previous owner when he took it off his yacht, when he stored it, he shrink wrapped this entire submarine. He wrapped it in basically a plastic wrap that protected it and stored it on this very trailer. But that was his adventure. That was his doing. And our adventure with this vessel started at the dealership and the interesting adventure it was. We just pulled up to Nautical Ventures. The last time I was here, it was in the window and I can kind of see it right now. Hudson, don't look over there. But I want to get Hudson's genuine first reaction to seeing this thing. I've already seen it in person. Travis hasn't seen it. Hudson hasn't seen it. I'm excited to see it again, but uh, let's go ahead and head in there. You can't look at the windows. You got to look kind of away. Let's look down. Ridiculous. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I mean, that's a <laughs> submarine if I've ever seen <laughs> one, Dude, you know? Dude, isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's literally the most cartoon <laughs> submarine of all time. I love the little propellers on the side. Yeah. Yeah, Cute man. Little guys. Uh, Lucas? Yes, sir. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks for, uh, nice to meet you. So where are we at with the paperwork on this thing? Are we done? Huh? So basically the only thing I have is a few signatures for you. Okay. Um, to close it out, um, and then load it onto the trailer. Okay. We're just trying to move it. It is heavier than we remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember SpongeBob okay. episode with the hash-slinging slasher? 
Okay. This is shaped like the hashling and slasher's face. Really? Yeah. I gotta go inside. I haven't been in a long time. You actually get in through the back. You gotta use the back door. Hey, I feel like one of those kids in the playhouse. Like with the slides. I'm not going in this thing. I don't know what he's like cooking up about us doing in this, but I'm terrified of that thing. Not only just being that far underwater, but being trapped with him behind the wheel that far underwater. Hey, do they have like a uh, like like a DOT course on how to drive one of these? It's a seven thousand dollar course that they don't offer anymore. Cool. This was not made for men over five five. <sighs> so Brandon, you're good because you're five two. I got in there and I was like, yep, yeah, I definitely am way over. <laughs> There's all these controls and no instructions. I found online that there is a course when you buy one of these, it's a $7,000 course to learn how to use it. But they don't even have a website anymore. Like this company's closed down. Later we're gonna get inside with okay. GoPros and show you everything. But uh, <laughs> we're just gonna get out of the showroom floor at first. These guys have been super nice. They turned off the music for us so we wouldn't get copyrighted. This video is obviously very expensive. <laughs> so I don't know man, this sub hasn't moved since. 1998. <laughs> Once this is on the trailer, it's never coming off. Let's do the rocker. So we need to buy a forklift now too, apparently. Oh boy. I didn't we didn't think about this part. We just thought like having a submarine would be cool. We didn't think about the getting it to and from and putting it on the apparently I got a flatbed trailer with the deal. So you buy a submarine, you get a flatbed trailer for free. <laughs> this was such a so dumb idea. <laughs> they're having this much trouble getting this off the showroom floor and onto the trailer. What's it's gonna happen when we I... need to put it in the water? Yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> that's not like a boat trailer. That's a that's like a <laughs> lawnmower trailer. Yeah, I told uh, I told Travis that uh, we need to buy a forklift. <laughs> you know, a forklift costs more than this thing, right? Yeah. Love that. <laughs> I'm sure yeah, Lucas has told you all the reasons to make We know it needs batteries. We don't know a lot about it. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure you do the research. Yeah. yeah. Talk to the company. Maybe you need a lesson. You know what's funny is the company shut go. down. They don't even have a website anymore. I called them up. Yesterday. I would love to get that contact info. I'll give then. you all the information. That'd be perfect. Because I went online and their website is gone. Really? Like they didn't like pay for it or something. Yeah. Don't know how to drive it. Don't know if it works. Don't know how to get it in or out of the water. Don't have a yacht to put it on. Don't have a forklift to lift it with. We're putting it on like a lawn trailer. And Brandon wants to put it in his grandparents' pond. I'm running out of fingers of why this isn't a good idea, guys. <laughs> Stop. Uh, and apparently that's how you get a submarine on a trailer. <laughs> you know, it looks like a lawnmower is supposed to go on that trailer. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost guaranteeing all of these scuba tanks are out of inspection anyway, so they still have air in them. God knows what kind of dusty air that is, bro. This thing was last inspected in 2004. Wherever this diving place is, I wonder if that's even in the US. There's no telling. Put your mouth on that after so many years, huh? <laughs> See that? Sports sub student manual. Really student to, to the game now. Yeah, I'm going back to school now, man. Thanks, man. Good hey, luck with it. Appreciate let us, it. Let us know how you're doing with it. Yeah, I'll let you know. I mean, technically you can't sink it because it's a submarine. <laughs> as long as it stays on this trailer, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So while we were loading up the sub, Hudson saw this car thing under here. What is this? Oh, dude. <laughs> Please tell me this goes in the water. It does, it does. <laughs> Got a jet ski engine in it. Oh, jet car. Dude, this is epic. 
How much is something like this? I think it runs like 50, 55,000. 55 grand? Dang! <laughs> Can I trade in myself for this? Oh man. Look at that. Oh wow. This is honestly way cooler. We got the truck all set up and by God, we also have the submarine. I do think we need to paint it though. I mean, it's very cartoon looking. The windows I think are my favorite part. Make it look super like nautical themed. I mean, it's a submarine, so it's pretty nautical. Okay, never mind. We're about to take a submarine home, brother. What the heck? Here she is, ladies and gents. I don't know what we're gonna call her. I don't know what color we should keep it. I'm thinking like US Navy SEAL type vibe. So let me know in the comments what you guys think color pattern wise, the name of it. But right now we are going to go over to a submarine specialist to tell us if we got a great deal because this is like literally one of a kind or if we're completely screwed. Can you imagine submarine vlogs? We're taking vlogs to the next level. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get in the truck. We've got a little bit of a drive. And then we're gonna meet up with a submarine specialist. I've, I've done hundreds of miles at 850 feet okay. in, a, in a true right. manned submersible. A real right? submarine. I, I've, <laughs> I've done hundreds of miles at 10 feet on hookah systems. Okay, right? okay. I'm in my 43rd year of this and I love any kind of diving. Right. So you're not screwed. Man. Okay, all right, This perfect. is super cool. It, it's okay. one more way to get underwater. All right. It's just different. You're, yeah. you're diving as a scuba diver. Right, in you a just, vessel. The scuba equipment is in there, right? including the buoyancy compensator and all that. It's like the biggest full face mask of all time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I think these guys are still in business up in Canada, I, right? I looked at their website and they either didn't repay to renew their website or something because it's not there anymore. But they, uh, Nautical Ventures said they got in contact with someone yesterday. Yeah. So I'm probably going to try to get that contact info. So how do we look on the inside? Does it look all right? Yeah, he gave us a thumbs up, so he says it's good. Yeah, it looks in pretty good shape. It man. looks good. Yeah, it's just oh. needs some PLC, TLC, somebody yeah, yeah. that really like, loves it. And, yeah. You know, we, we've got a little ship here in town, too. We can launch you right in the uh, That would be ocean. epic. Got a 15-ton A-frame on the back of it, and we pick up big things with it. Well, this is pretty big, you know. It's not the size of your submarine. It's how you operate it. That's right. Realistically, what would be my next steps for this? Like, what should I do? Or Tear what? apart. I personally, because you don't know what it is, what what we do with our subs every year you know, under ABS rules, okay. we we go through an annual inspection. Every third year, we completely disassemble every part in the sub, even the sphere comes off. Okay. And we go back down to the frame and we start over again. Okay. And every wire, every tube fitting, everything, because it's all life support. Right. And once you're down there, it, you're not, you're not calling the the 911 help button, but right. it's you. You yeah. you got to figure it out. You need to know <laughs> every piece in there and how it works and how it comes apart. Because we know if we get in a problem down there, we got to fix it ourselves. So Robert is the submarine specialist. He broke this thing down. He looked at it though. He said it's in great condition. Remember, this thing is from 1998. For the record, this thing's in better shape than I am. You know, with Robert's expertise, I do think we're gonna be okay. I'm just not sure as far as like start to finish what this thing looks like. But he was like, oh, we're gonna put like a sonar adapter thing up here. So you're gonna have communications so you can be in there like on the radio and actually talking to a boat like above you wirelessly. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the exact guy I needed for this thing. All right, I wanna get your reaction. I bought something. Okay. Ready? It's a submarine, brother. Gosh, dang. How do you, how are you supposed to put that in the, the water? We ain't figured that part out yet. <laughs> Technically, you're supposed to hook to the top of it and drop it in. God, dude. I mean, when's it going to set in? Like, when's it going to be regular to see a submarine on the back of the trailer? Probably never. Probably never. But you know what Corey said? He was like, hey, I can call somebody and they can make you a custom fab trailer for your submarine. It's like, that'll be that'd be sweet. Is it gonna have a crane on it so we can just... Honestly, that's what I need. 
All right, so we finally made it back home. And honestly, the trailer, we were a little worried, but I think we got the ultimate deal. I mean, this trailer was an absolute beauty. We felt the hubs. We drove three and a half hours back here at like 70, 80 miles an hour. Tires held up great. The hubs held up great. We even touched them. They weren't super hot. So the trailer is like a W, even if the submarine doesn't work. So we at least got a trailer out of the whole deal. But I'm gonna call my mom right now and FaceTime her. I wanna get her reaction. Hi, mom. I wanna show you something special. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, okay. She definitely meant to say the most manly sub vehicle she's ever seen. I was thinking it was gonna be like this yellow submarine. No. That's adorable. Okay, she meant super badass. She didn't mean to say adorable. She hasn't figured out her adjectives yet. But yes, it's super badass. <laughs> well, you know, I still think of you as a little boy sometimes, so well, I, you know, forget that you're with, badass. Honestly, honestly, mom, with this toy, I kind of feel like a little boy. I feel like this is just the most ridiculous thing I could have got. But look at, look at this thing, the profile, the windows. I literally would have never bought it if it didn't have these three windows up front. And then you've got around this side. It kind of looks like an airplane from that view. Yeah, that's what Travis said. He said it looked like a, a jacked up airplane. <laughs> but then you got the cabin and then you got the little tail. You got the uh, back step area to do the rigging up top. And then back under in there, you have the cabin. It came with the trailer. Oh, yeah, and the trailer is really nice. So it's like I have a flatbed trailer if my submarine sucks. Yep, you did good. I love it. I can't wait to see it in action. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, family. All right. My mom said it was, what was the words? Cute and adorable. She definitely meant super badass. But, I mean, look at it. How could you not think it's freaking badass? This is the ultimate underwater adventuring, game changing, bubble blowing machine that we still don't have a name for yet. I want it to be name something epic like when you hear the name you're like that's an adventure underwater exploring machine so please help me with that and we still think we're going to change the color of it it's why it looks dope it's so clean especially for how old it is but i think like that black camo vibe is going to be it look i'm not making you guys wait anymore you guys have been super patient waiting to this point because i know deep in your heart you're like i want to see the inside of this freaking submarine looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a GoPro, crawl into the rear, which is gonna be very cool. So sorry about the audio, it's gonna echo in there, but we also have a plan for that. I'm gonna trick this thing out. You just wait. We gotta get it running first, but after that, we're gonna trick it out. Enter from the old caboose, man. I was just telling Travis, like every time I look at this from a different angle, I'm like, dude, this thing's so weird. It's so wicked. So we go from the bottom. Now remember, you're not actually gonna have this trailer here. You'd be able to swim under and then just pop up in there, but I gotta like hurdle over the trailer and stuff because we're not underwater where this thing thrives. This is the inside here. Watch out for this one rotten spot of the trailer. But you come up in here and this is the inside battle station of the submarine. So we're gonna go over details. They have a little latch right here. You can push this latch, pull that out, get to some random plug. No clue what that plug does. We've got this big gauge here, but this is my favorite part. You guys can see battery meter right there. If you wanna go forward, you got it, left, right. But this is the thrusters on the outside. You can control them up and down. You have this gauge here, you have all these air things and they have this airflow machine. Again, I don't know anything about it, but I'm currently crouch standing in this thing. It does have seats. We haven't figured the seats out because they pull out like this and they fall and we think they go the other way, but it puts a lot of pressure on the wall. So I think the seats are fine when it's underwater. I just don't, I don't want to risk it. Starting from the front, you guys have your front window, your right window, your left window. Pretty cool. You can get your head in these windows. They're giant domes. There's Trav. You can see all around, but then you have this rear window and you can actually see the back too, uh, which is super cool. So we also have these bottom windows. You guys can see Travis waving, waving here. This will be open. Uh, so this will be the sea floor that will be down there. So you'll be able to see up kind of where you're going. But if you're like, man, I'm getting close to the coral, you can actually look down there 
and then boom, you could just, you know, set your ballast and blow air up in here. Everything seems great so far, but here is where the massive problem for this submarine comes into. Right here is the battery box. Now this thing is fused to the floor, but it's waterproof. Here's the problem right here. We have a hellacious amount of corrosion. I mean, the whole thing is corrosion and I shouldn't even unscrew that because I just breathed that in. But we also have some moisture under there, which is not good. This is powered by electric. So the motors are actually just trolling motors, which I'll show you there on the outside, lifting you up, dropping you down. That's all air controlled. And then you have air inside this cabin, which you have to control and mitigate because technically you're breathing out. Right back here, you've got three huge spots. Those are where the scuba tanks go. They all connect to this hose. You do open, open, button, button, button. There's a bunch of damn buttons there <laughs> that you gotta figure out. But hey, it's a submarine. We're learning together. One thing that was wild is all the lead. I mean, there's hundreds of these things down here. Apparently all this really heavy stuff is important because that's the only way this thing sinks. This is a huge bubble, so it wants to float, so you gotta make it sink. I don't know, pretty cool. Another interesting fact about the sub, has a big old nose on it, you might be able to see. All right, it's kinda like your boy, it's got a big old schnoz right there, and there is a reason for that. Oh God, when you come under the nose, there's a bunch of interesting stuff happening. One, you got your windows up there, remember those? But two, you have a scuba tank that's mounted up here. Now this one lets air free flow into this area right here. That is because if you've ever held a cup upside down in the water, air stays in the cup. It's basically your buoyancy control system. There's one in the nose, one in the rear, and technically air inside the cabin also helps you be buoyant. I feel like Bill Nye the science guy, but a lot less smart and way less cool. We've got the big boat. We've got the jet ski. We've got the two kayaks. We've got the jet boat. And now we even have the freaking submarine added to the fleet. I don't think you guys understand. Uh, when I first started YouTube, I was doing it as a class project and I was doing it for fun. I bought a kayak and that was my way to adventure and go make videos. And my dream, the ultimate level of success is one day I'm gonna have a jet ski. We accomplished that. I was mind blown. It was so freaking mind blown. And I mean, we just built the freaking coolest jet boat of all time. The coolest aluminum bass boat of all time. We just built that. And I've been having so much fun on it. And the fact that I could even toy with the idea of like this submarine is unreal to me. I know that literally all of this is possible because of you guys. I never want you to think that I'm just out here. I literally, every time I meet one of you guys and you say you love the videos, I always say thank you so much because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do what I get to do and love to do every single day. This is just such a representation of like how crazy you guys support is the fact that we could even go out and get a freaking submarine like this is so next level this is something that's never really been done on youtube and i'm serious like we could technically be the first submarine vlog channel and there's a reason why that doesn't really exist right like it's such a strange crazy idea but you guys follow support and love me and or just the videos so crazy I, I, sometimes i don't even have words i i don't know I guess at the end of the day, I just want to say thank you guys so much for allowing me for the past six years to live the craziest, wildest life and making some of the dreams that I didn't even know I had possible. Like I never even knew I wanted a submarine until I saw it. And the fact that you guys allow that to be possible is just forever grateful. You guys have changed the trajectory of my life. You've changed uh, a lot of people's lives around me and, uh, it's been incredible. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video. The submarine, look, I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of work that has to go into this and I can't personally do it and I can't just go to a traditional boat shop because there's stuff that has to be vacuum sealed and specific scuba lines that are very important. It's a life supporting device and it could be dangerous if it's not done right. So I have to do it right. I have to go to a specialist and it's gonna take some time. 
I am sorry. I want the underwater submarine videos more than you do, I promise. The fact that we have step one completed is great. Step two is gonna be rebuilding everything, learning how to use this thing, and then testing it for water. It's gonna be a long journey, but I promise you, if you wanna stay along for it, I will get it done no matter the cost, I promise you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, drop a like, drop a sub for the sub. I love you all, and as always, Catch you guys on the next adventure.